In this video, Kevin and I are going to be trying three of the new Patty LaBelle cobblers. These are the Patty's Good Life cobblers. We have apple cobbler, berry cobbler, and peach cobbler. These were $6.98 each at Walmart. We're not going to try them all at one time, so we're going to choose one like every every night or every other night or whatever and then i'm going to put the video together so you will see all three of them in the same video the first one we're going to try is the apple cobbler so i'm going to set these aside i want to thank darian very very much for telling me about these because i had no idea that she had come out with some new cobblers or um cakes or anything so this is very exciting so it opens down at the bottom like this and you literally just pull it right out of here. And these are not refrigerated or anything like that. Right. These were just sitting in the bakery section at Walmart. Um, so you, it says, preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which mine's almost there. Remove cobbler from box. Place cobbler pad on a baking sheet on the middle oven rack. Bake for 10 to 20. 10 to 16 minutes or until warm. We will probably bake it for 14 minutes right in the middle. Uh, you can microwave this. However, you have to scoop the cobbler from the container into a microwave safe dish or bowl because this is not safe. So you want to scoop out whatever you want into a bowl and then you microwave it on high for two to four minutes and you let, let it stand for one minute and it says use pot holders to remove dish from oven because it'll be hot. Uh, for an extra special treat, add ice cream. I'm sure that would be awesome, but we're not gonna do that for our videos. One eighth of the cobbler or 109 grams is 240 calories. There are eight servings in this cobbler and it is quite large. It really is. So we are gonna put this in the oven for 14 minutes and then we'll be back. Well, it's out of the oven, and I don't think I read you the actual description of it. It is sweet Fuji apples loaded in a flaky top and bottom crust. It's like Fuji apples. So this was in the oven for 14 minutes. And I'm just going to scoop some out for you. <laughs> Look, it smells really good. It smells like apple pie. Okay. Yeah. It's good and warm. Mm -hmm. I love the apple flavor. It's really good. Uh, cinnamon apple. And it's thick. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the juice. It's not. Um, it's not runny at all. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a thick a, sauce. It's a very thick, yes. Syrup. There yes. It's a very thick and syrupy. Mm. Mm. That is really good. Reminds me of an apple pie. Yes. Although, I think I'd rather have the apple pie with the crumble on top more than this. However, this is really, really good. This has, I think, more cinnamon mm -hmm. than an apple pie has. Probably, and it has a it has a really good apple flavor too. Yes, I love the apples. I love the the crust. It's not uh, soggy. No, it's not soggy at all. I think it's delicious. Yeah, it's really really good. There's no crust on the bottom. I thought they said there was a crust. I don't think it says top and bottom crust. Yeah, there's crust on them. Oh, okay. I didn't see the crust. It's on not the very bottom. thick. It's pretty okay. thin. Okay. See, you the have, bottom crust is really thin. I took a picture of the side of this, so you will see at the end how thick this is. It's like this thick. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But that bottom layer is really thin, so it kind of gets lost under all that apple. Well, I think any any um, event you had, if you wanted to, and you like apples, mm -hmm. um, you could throw one of these in the oven for 15 minutes and be done with it, mm -hmm. and people would enjoy it. And it's 6.98. I think it's worth the six ninety eight. An apple pie costs more than that. Yes. At least that much of not more. Mm -hmm. And this, if you're funny about the word cobbler, then don't be. Because this, it really is a lot like a pie. Yeah, it's just the crust is not as crisp as a, as a pie right. crust is. It's more of a, a softer, not biscuity. 
And I guess it's about as soft as a biscuit would be. Yeah, it is a little. But it doesn't taste like biscuit. I mean, I'm trying to. But it's not soggy. A lot of people think of cobblers as being like soggy. Yeah, that's probably the homemade variety. Yeah, this isn't soggy at all. No, this is excellent. Yeah. Now we are going to be trying the peach cobbler, and you open it the same way as before. Slides right out. I'm going to put this on my baking pan. It is one eighth of the cobbler is 280 calories and you bake it for 12 to 16 minutes uh, if you're doing it in the oven. So I'll probably keep it in there for about, probably about 14 minutes and we'll be back. I didn't say at the beginning, but this pie, uh, sorry, this cobbler, just like uh, the other one, was $6.98. It's a big cut out spoonful. It's just a one little... Mm. Peaches are good. They're big hunks yes. of peaches. Let me grab that peach because that should have... I, wanted, I was going to grab it anyway. Oh, okay. Well, now you have it. I was going to get it anyway. I'll wait for you. I'll be nice. <clears throat> it looks like it is absolutely full of peaches. Mm -hmm. And it I does. just spilled some, of course. I had to spill some. And it smells a uh, cinnamon-y. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm trying to get it in my spoon. Mm. That's yeah. not as strong as I thought it would be. I thought it would be peachier. I really like that though. Mm -hmm. This one's just okay for me. What I'm missing, just like from the last one I told Kevin, I said it was absolutely perfect. The only thing that I missed was one of my favorite parts of the pie is the very end, which someone said the they, edge part. Yeah, someone told me they never eat that part. And I'm thinking, uh, if I were the there, I would eat it. I would eat your edge, edge piece. Um, but that's my favorite part. So that's the only thing I'm missing. But that's not what cobbler's about. It's not a pie. Um, but if I were to say that I was missing anything, I miss the um, the texture of that uh, the yeah, crust, the crust, you know? The crispiness. Mm -hmm. um, this one's okay. But... And it's got huge peaches in them, but my problem, here's my problem with it. It doesn't have a peachy enough flavor. It's huge oh. peaches. It has tons of peaches in there, but I don't think it tastes, en it tastes enough like peach. Well, I love it. It's good. It's not as good as the apple, though. Because um, I like canned peaches. I don't eat fresh peaches. And so this is like they took canned peaches and, and they poured it in here and they put some cinnamon and some crust But on do you it. think it's as sweet as canned peaches? I just don't get that peachy flavor. I don't even know that if you I were do. if you were to give me that blindfold, I don't know that I would say that was a peach. No, you probably wouldn't. It's not peachy at all. I would think. I don't know. What I think this you is. do get a little peach. I think there's a. I think it's there. Maybe a little bit. But it's not not as strong as it could be. Not like the apple. The apple was like apple. Yeah, it was. It this really one's was. like. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the two, I'd get the apple. Out of the two, I would get the apple as well. Um, but if you if if you like peaches, I think you should give it a try and let us know in the comments what yeah. you think. Tell me if you because, taste peaches. Yeah, <laughs> I don't taste peaches. It's just it's there, uh, but it's mild. It's very very mild. So and if you're like me and you only like canned peaches, you, you might want like it mild. Yeah. yeah, you would like this a lot. So uh, we will be back uh, to try the berry. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we're going to be trying the berry cobbler. You open this the exact same way as you did the other two. I am preheating my oven once again to 350 degrees. That's how it looks. It is one eighth of the cobbler is, two, cobbler is 270 calories and you bake it for 12 to 16 minutes. So we will probably leave it in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, I baked the cobbler. I don't think I showed it when it came out of the oven, but it looks pretty much the same as when it went in. Um, it says it's loaded with raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and boysenberries. However, 
blueberries is a the first ingredient uh, is res the first ingredient is red raspberries and then the third ingredient is it's red raspberries sugar and then blackberries a little bit further down the list you get blueberries but the boysenberries it actually says less than two percent so less than two percent boysenberries but i figured i should tell you all that because i didn't tell you what kind of berries were in it Kind it looks good. Important. I think this is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Oh, really? You think it had the strongest flavor? Um, I do. It looks really good. It does. It smells like raspberries. We were talking um, that Tammy was thinking it would be cool if they had a cherry one. Uh, but then we were kind of thinking it sometimes it's hard to get cherries to where they're strong enough to you can really taste them right so we kind of worried that if they did it probably wouldn't be much to eat right it wouldn't have a strong fiber anyway if you don't like raspberries who would not like them yeah, it has seeds all in here it does have seeds does yeah. that bother you no but i know some people can't have like seeds and stuff yes um yeah if you can't have the little raspberry seeds you couldn't eat this because they are all they haven't mm -hmm. strained any of them out what is that diverticulitis i don't know where you can't eat seeds. we have a family member who has that um she's not supposed to have seeds you know like seeds and berries or tomatoes or um anything like that a popcorn um well, so this, this is, you could not have that now this is i mean when i say it's full of seeds it's full I mean, it really of is full of seeds um there's a lot of times don't they strain those out or something? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, you know in jelly you don't have all yeah, those true. seeds. This is good though. It's got a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. I even get a hint, just a hint of the blueberry kind of flavor to it. But um, mostly it, raspberry. The blackberry. Yeah, yeah. that's the blackberry. That's, yeah. I like that. It's almost like you've opened a, a pot of jam and they poured it in here i mean it's really strong i like it mm -hmm. i like the consistency of it uh, the consistency of it is like a jam mm -hmm. you could literally uh pick that up and put it on a piece of uh, toast yeah, so which have. three have we tried we tried apple apple berry peach. and peach hmm i'm still liking the apple i think the apple is my favorite this yeah. would be second yeah but not a close second necessarily no because no. the flavor is there but the seeds are good to me right yeah the, the, there are a lot of seeds uh apple definitely is uh is i agree i agree with that order and then the peach the peach just wasn't i would have loved the peach if it had been like stronger the peach though you know i really even though the peach wasn't strong i really that's liked true it. it had a good texture and stuff i may have actually liked the peach better than this i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna say the peach yeah yeah that's my order i'm gonna say apple first and then peach and then the berry just because of all the seeds i'll I say that too you. i'll say that too big just because of texture because yeah. i mean if you're going to get a berry cobbler you you probably expect seeds for me personally i don't like all those little seeds right. so i would never eat them and i don't necessarily expect the seeds just because you don't get that in uh, uh jelly and stuff i bet you they're in cobblers though they probably it's probably normal in a berry cobbler yeah. and we just don't know that because i think all they do is throw the berries in a pot throw sugar in it a little bit right. of water cook them right like them thicken up and then pour it in there That's so all you all are probably if you've had berry cobblers you're probably used to yeah. that and we're just not no. so apple and then peach and then berry yeah, just know the peach doesn't have a lot of flavor in it, but this has tons of flavor so um i hope you enjoyed this review and thanks for watching